Hello everyone, all my you lovely YouTube friends. Thank you so much for coming back to visit me again today. I guess it's probably still Sunday for you, or maybe you're just waking up on Monday. But it is Monday here at about, let me have a look at the time, half past three in the afternoon. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's been as warm as toast. I've even got sandals on. It's been uh, about maximum of 22 degrees today and just lovely. There was a thick fog this morning, which always means it's going to be a warm day. And today is actually a public holiday because we celebrate the Queen's birthday. That's the Queen of England, her birthday today. And um, we celebrate it today even though she turned 91 in April on the 26th, I think it was. And luckily she always celebrates her birthday on a Monday, so we get a long weekend. So it's perfect. Just how, just how Australians like it. Lots of holidays. So today... Um, I realised that I was rapidly running out of food and of all types, veggies, fruit, tinned, frozen, fresh, toilet paper, everything was running out. And I kept putting it off and putting it off until I thought, well, there aren't any other days this week that I can go grocery shopping. So I bit the bullet, um, did a load of washing, hung it out this morning and headed down to the supermarket thinking it would be just so busy and awful. Luckily it wasn't. It was fine. It was. I got a parking spot just brilliantly near the doors and it was all fine and dandy. I had to buy so much just to stock back up again. I think it's been probably about five or six weeks since I've been and I've just done little touch-ups in between just you know grabbing some fresh fruit and veggies every now and again. Other than that I haven't been shopping at all for food so it was getting really a bit drastic here, not for lack of funds, um, but for lack of, oh, I don't like doing the grocery shopping, I would much rather stay home and work on babies. Um, so that's, that's always my choice, is to stay at home and paint. But um, I've just had to go this morning, so I've done it. I haven't unpacked it all. I've unpacked all of the fridge and freezer stuff, but the rest will wait till I've done this video and had a cuppa. So I just would like to, just wanted to come back and say hello to you. Um, I want to show you what the babies are wearing. Uh, and I want to tell you what's been happening with my computer, which hasn't been much fun. So the babies today are wearing little two-piece outfits that I bought oh, a couple of months ago, I guess, when they are on sale. And they're light cotton, um, long-sleeved and long legs with feet in. And Jaunty's is a cream colour. It's a bit hard to tell. I've got them in front of the window in my room again. Seems to be the best spot for them now that winter's here and if I'm videoing in the afternoon. Um, but his is a cream colour. Actually, so is Pippa's, and that looks pretty white in the camera too. Anyway, so back to Jaunty. What he's got on his, which is a bit hard for you to see, are little um, farm animals, some sheep and some farm fencing and a bit of some greenery. Let me see if I can zoom in and we'll... Let me just adjust the camera. I hope this doesn't make you feel too crook. There. Can you see? And even on his little top, let's see if we can go in closer to his little... Oh no, that's not much good. There. Can you see the sheep a little bit? And let's go down to his pants. There's the greenery and the sheep and the fence. Okay, I'll zoom out again. I can't actually... Oh, that's not out, silly girl. This is out. I can't actually get get close to them to show you because they're wedged in. Whoops! Oh, I can't talk and move my finger at the same time. I'm not that clever. There we go. Um, they're wedged in between my bed and the window seat in my bedroom, so I can't. And then the tripods in front of me blocking the rest of the space, so I can't even get there to to pull on their clothes to show you. So that's Jonty's outfit. Cute little two-piece matching outfit. And I decided to put on both of their beautiful vintage cream fine knit woolen bonnets that I just love. I think they're so beautiful. So that's Jonty. And he has got his wabanub, which is a lamb, to match his the sheep on his jumper or on his top. And that wabanub was a, a giveaway prize from Ines that she sent me a little while ago. I don't think you've seen it with Jonty yet, so that's a little lamb. And next to Jonty is his loving baby sister, Pippa, and she's wearing um, an outfit I bought at the same time, so it was kind of a range that they had in the shop. 
Oh, and that reminds me, I did want to say to you, I'm not very good at naming brands, am I? I guess, probably like a lot of us, we're not that interested in the brands. Only if we want to buy the same thing, then you need to know. Otherwise, brands don't mean anything to me. I just like the clothes I like, and I guess we're all like that, aren't we? So I'll tell you, now that I'm thinking of it, that this brand, um, it comes from a, a range of clothes, I think I mentioned to you before, called um, Pure Baby, and they use organic cottons, and some organic wool as well. I don't know if you I suppose you can have organic wool, yes. Um, and they have beautiful things. They have baby clothes from four zeros, which is a small newborn, up to, I think now their range goes up to four-year-olds or five-year-olds. So it's a lovely shop, really, really lovely. And it's, I think it's based in Australia. I don't think they're overseas at all. And it's very nice things. And they always have sales, like everywhere does. So I just wait till there's a sale and then see if I can see what I can get. I love sniffing around sales. It's my favourite thing to do. And of course I can buy things out of season because the babies don't mind if they're wearing things from last season. They seem quite quite content with doing that. So let me tell you about Pippa's little out two-piece outfit. Her leggings are a plain colour and they're cream. I know you can't really tell that. They call it winter white for some reason. Excuse me, my throat. <coughs> Sorry. I think they call it winter white. I'm not really sure why they do that. But anyway, that's, she's got plain cream um, leggings on. And her top is like a, a pink mull. And she's got a chicken applique. Let me see see if I can zoom in and show you things I can't get there. There's not much of it exposed because she's... Let me just see. You can see it a little bit there. Her jelly cat uh, mouse is in the way. So is her little chin a bit. But it's very cute. And she has on... Let me see if I can talk and move my finger at the same time. Not really. It's a bit too hard for me. Talking and moving my fingers. Asking a bit much, isn't it, girls and boys? There we are. So that's what they're wearing. They're pure baby outfits. Two pieces each. Very cute. And, of course, she has her beautiful vintage cream bonnet on as well. I love fine knit wool. I just love it. It's just beautiful. So that's what they're wearing. And I've told you about... Yeah, I told you about the brand. You'll have to remind me if I forget um, next time. But I'll try and remember to tell you what brand the, the clothes are that they're wearing. I get them from all over the place. I get them from eBay. I get them from shops. I get them from online. I just... You know, you know what it's like when I'm watching TV. If if it's not 100% engaging me, I just play on my phone at the same time. Um, bit, bit not quite like the olden days when TV was so exciting that you, it was completely absorbing. Now <coughs> it seems we need, well, I need lots and lots of things going on at the same time, or I enjoy lots and lots of things going on at the same time. So there are my babies. Now I have a feeling I want. Oh, that was the computer I was going to tell you about, wasn't I? Yes, I um, I used the computer on Thursday morning, and then it was time for me to go and pick up one of my granddaughters from school, and then her baby sister from kindy. And so I went to turn the computer off, which I did. And when I came home that night after I'd had dinner with my, who was that for? With my daughter and her husband and children. I came to turn on the computer because I wanted to do something and I couldn't get it on. I just it couldn't it wouldn't turn on. It, no matter what I did, how long I held the button and all that stuff and jiggled everything and took out plugs, not that I knew what they were doing, and put them back in. I couldn't make it come on. So I tried not to be panicky and I went to bed and the next morning I got up and tried again Friday morning. Still nothing. Did everything I needed to do. And then I thought, I'm not going to think about it anymore. It'll be okay. My son, my big boy Steve, will come. He'll fix it for me. And luckily he and his family did come yesterday, Sunday, and I told him what was wrong, and he just went into my, well, it's a, I call it the computer room, but it's actually my um, painting room as well. It just happens to have the computer in there. So he just went in there and emerged not long afterwards and said, it's all fine, it's on, Mum, it's going, seems nothing to be wrong with it. So I have no idea what it was doing to me. And, of course, it decided to turn on for Steve. I don't know why, and I don't know what I was doing, but whatever it was, it got over itself. And, and it's really 
strange because I realised I couldn't do anything without it. I couldn't, um, I couldn't upload any videos. I couldn't um, send all the things I wanted to send and do all the things I wanted to do. It was really frustrating. So I had to just, just wait for it to come back, and it's back. So now I'm making a video. No, and I will be able to upload it and, I'll, and you guys will be able to see it so that's pretty exciting so that's kind of been a crazy week without the computer for a few days and also a horrible time at the supermarket well actually it wasn't horrible it's never as horrible as I imagine it was actually quite reasonable I, um, I got there early enough and, and did all the shopping but there was so much stuff in the trolley I nearly couldn't push the darn thing because you know I'm just pushing with one hand and it's really tough going because um, you know what trolleys are like. That like they don't go straight ahead, and the the aisles are crowded with people and strollers and other trolleys and you know all that stuff. Anyway, I got round and when I was waiting in the queue, there was a nice couple behind me, and we started chatting. And the man said, "Oh, do you want me to go and get you one of the the really big trolleys, and we can get all your stuff put into that?" So we did that. He got me the big trolley. Um, now, what was I leading to with all this stuff? Oh, I know what. Excuse me. <coughs> um, tickly throat. And, yeah, so what, what they said to me was, oh, you've done a big shop, haven't you, for your family? And I thought, oh, I'm not telling them it's really just for me. But it's really, I mean, it's meant to last a long time. And I've made a, a, a New Year's resolution for June, and it's not New Year's, but I've decided I'm going to try and make myself do a small shop every week like make myself go on Mondays. Mondays are my only free days. It's my only free day. So I think I will try and go up Monday mornings, just buy the few things, try not to buy more stuff than what I need because that's the danger when you go up. Oh, I'll just get this and I'll just get that. And you end up spending much more money that way. But anyway, I'm going to try it because it was a nightmare and the fact that I haven't put everything away. And it's like 200 trips from the car to inside and you know the whole kit and caboodle and I think I wouldn't hate it as much if I did it in you know in smaller quantities so that's what I'm going to try so I'll report to you um, after the next Monday and, and tell you if I succeeded or not I bet you I don't I bet you I think oh I don't need to go I only need a couple of things much rather stay home and do painting so we'll see we'll see if I can can stick to what I've decided see if I can remind myself how hard it is doing a giant shop and everyone thinks I'm shopping for a big family, not just for one little old lady. How embarrassing. I didn't tell them. I didn't own up. Because I couldn't. I just didn't know how to explain that, that I hadn't been shopping for so long that there wasn't even toilet paper in the house. That's probably the last thing that drove me up to the supermarket, actually. Because you can kind of... I was managing on the other things, eking out the last egg and, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, so I think I might stop talking before it gets really boring for you. And I would like to thank you very much for coming to visit me. And I hope everyone's had a happy weekend and you're waking up bright and cheerful and happy on a Monday morning. So thank you very much for visiting me. And I'll see you in a few days, I hope. And I'll report back to you on the supermarket situation. So everyone, just take care. Be kind to each other. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.